Welcome Crystal Souls, today I'll present you the soulmate you'll marry. So for this reading we have three pals available, we have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. Make sure to support me as well on my ASMR channel if you guys are interested, everything is going to be linked down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me, everything is linked in the description. And by the way, thank you so much for your support on this channel, on my ASMR channel and for booking with me, you guys are the best. So let's start with pile number one and see more hints about your soulmate, the one you'll marry. So the first message is we are family. Right away I see a deep connection and of course you guys possibly building a family together if this is what you plan to do of course. But what I see is that sense of home and being comfortable together, feeling connected as if you've been waiting for this person your entire life. So this is gonna feel like this, you're going to feel safe, you're going to feel accompanied, supported, appreciated, loved and taken care of. And of course you can expect this person to be the most perfect father or the most perfect mother. I see someone who is really wanting to build something with you and to be actually certain that this marriage is leading towards bigger projects and bigger things to be experiencing together. So let's continue with the cards and see more hints. So who is your soulmate, the one you'll marry, any type of traits? qualities. We'll see everything today. Trust me, I'm gonna go in depth. <laughs> so let's get some tarot cards. Who is the soulmate you're marrying? Ooh, okay, so this person could be announced. I see your spirit guides, angels, possibly pointing at one person, telling you that's the one, that's the person. And possibly you feel some attraction towards somebody. Or if you don't feel this way, when you meet your soulmate, this is going to be this, this urge, this inner calling to be together. This reminds me of the Switzerland flag for some reason. So perhaps this is a plus for you guys. And by the way, I have on my channel a soulmate location, zodiac sign and portrait. So if you guys want to check it out afterward, you can actually see where your future soulmate is from. But that can be a plus here. And with 20 appearing, 20 is a code to me. So two represents unity coming together. And zero is about protection, safety, or a cycle or circle, which is totally connected to the fact that you guys are a family, you build a circle, right? Or this could be, for example, someone in your circle, rather it's like business circle, because I see work related uh, with the pentacles, or this could just be their career is going to be successful. And we have a cake here, so perhaps the cake is significant. A birthday party, celebration, maybe a birthday coming up, or them telling you we want to celebrate our marriage anniversary every single year. This will be like a celebration, possibly with music, with good food, or with any type of thing connected to family. And I'm sure their family is going to like you a lot. I see the two of you really building a relationship that people will just celebrate and people will really enjoy and feel inspired by. For the Seven of Swords, in the beginning you can be struggling a little bit in that relationship, possibly because you are really different. You can see that with the way they are just showing up like in reverse, masculine, feminine energy. So in the beginning, you can be facing some disagreements and we'll need to kind of face these type of things to really feel at home together. I guess it's just because you have different backgrounds, different stories, but I see protection. I mean, you can see that circle around you. And I'm sure this, you know, this um, difference or these differences in the duality is what makes the two of you more connected and also completing each other. You bring something new and fresh and this inspires the two of you to level up. For the Page of Pentacles, I see this card as excitement, a new adventure, a new project. Possibly in the future, you guys will have amazing projects or just inspirations. And the two of you might be very supportive with what you want to do and what is part 
of your calling and your dreams. But I do see this person supported by your spirit guides. They want the two of you to be together. And trust me, they're going to make things clear. Numbers you can see can be 10, 10 on the clock, which talks about completion. And or you can see two a lot because that's 20 so two 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 for example or number two everywhere and two like i said is about togetherness and then we have seven could be about luck building something that will bring luck in this connection and i'm sure this numbers or these numbers can be associated to the person could be the birthday date could be a lucky number could be a date when you guys meet you know something like this so i'd see more I told you, this person is being announced. This person is being presented to you first with the energy, possibly even in dreams, because you can see the bad scene here. So pay attention to these things because this person... Okay, so if not in dreams, this could be with music too. Singing the same symphony and we have announcement. And there is somebody running at a distance. I have something to tell you. That's very important. So yes, you will feel that urge when you meet this person, but also when you guys will be together. It's going to be difficult to be in separation. You just want to be together. You want to meet each other and spend more time together. And you guys will just sing the same symphony, which means you will just be connected. You will, you will actually sing the same symphony. I cannot really explain it. It's like, it's like you understand you guys are perfect for each other and you collaborate perfectly. And it's just an evidence for the two of you to be together. But this person is being announced and I am seeing somebody rushing in your life. So, and perhaps you have this person already. So pay attention to the signs because they're being shown to you. So let's continue. The lock. And this, I was talking about this. You can be meeting when you are asleep. So in dreams. And this is showing up with the sleep. Or you guys will just enjoy sleeping or staying in bed, cuddling together. Or maybe with a baby. Because you could see on the first card, this baby boy. So of course, this could be a future scene when you guys will all be together. So the sleep. And what I see is Cupid as well. So perhaps you have angels, deities even, just assisting the two of you to unlock this love. And with the lock, again, because we talked about possibly some type of struggle or um, you guys being different, you will need to unlock these differences and accept them because that's going to be very freeing and you can see that with the wings. So there is something to experience together that will be maybe in the beginning a bit uncomfortable because that is out of your comfort zone or just out of what you know. But then when you just welcome and accept the offering, aka your soulmate, this is when you unlock possibly even gifts, talent, or just this, you know, this ability to accept everything, to love everybody and to celebrate actually these differences. But there's something to unlock together and possibly this could be connected to a future project um, the lock, I think, of, you know, the key of a new place. So perhaps you guys will be moving in together quite quickly. Let's see now traits from your person. Any type of traits, personality, anything your soulmate is. Let's see, let's see. The first, we have somebody rich. The first card is somebody rich and you could see that with the pentacles energy because to me that's a big dreamer someone who has big dreams big goals wanting to celebrate things and maybe the luck can represent opening a business as well take what resonate but of course i see somebody who is going to be abundant and if you are a feminine or in your feminine you can be attracting someone who is actually because we saw duality here remember we, I mean, you are, <laughs> you are attracting someone who is in their masculine. So, and masculine tend to be the money maker, the doer, the conqueror, the one who is actually leading the way towards big dreams, big achievements. And they find pride in attracting abundance. So I see that 
as the masculine energy. So you can be attracting someone who is in their masculine. I'm talking about energy. I'm not talking about appearance-wise, okay? And honest. This is good. <laughs> you want somebody who is honest with you. Maybe this honesty in the beginning is gonna be a bit challenging because they might be very blunt or they will just, you know, they're not really able or they don't really like to pretend. If they have something on their mind, they say it. If they want to talk about something, they will say it. I'm not saying honest in a way that this is disrespectful. No. Honesty means I care about you and I still want to make you aware this is happening or this is how I feel. So can we talk about these things? So honesty and somebody rich. Let's see now messages. So what they want to say to you. Maybe the announcement, anything connected. Look at this. <laughs> what we have is true love. I mean, you can't tell. This is a soulmate. So first of all, this relationship and connection is divine. And you could see you guys just want to be building together. You feel connected. This is some divine connection, to be honest, because you are presented this person for a reason. And you are singing the same symphony, which means you share the same destiny. You share the same, you know, the same essence in a way. And you just want to be together. And you are a gem. <laughs> so you guys will value each other. So what we have is true love and you are a gem. And what I see as well is growth in that relationship. Because you want to make sure your person feels accepted, respected and honored the way they decide it is best for them to be. And because of that, because the ground is healthy, the soil is healthy, then you can see the tree, aka that relationship or the two of you growing beautifully and feeling at home because you are accepted. So you are a gem and what we have is true love. Let's continue with the grid. So I'm going to talk about their zodiac sign. So far, we have air sign. And we have earth signs. It could be an earth sign and air sign. They can be seasons too. So air energy is winter and autumn for the earth signs. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer and Virgo. So let's continue with letters and words. So here you can see especially a name. A name, a place, a word, any type of codes, <laughs> revelation, anything you need to know. Let's see group number one. Oh, we have a kiss. I see LA. I had a long distance. So it could be a long distance relationship in the beginning. Wow. China. I heard city, so they can come from a city. Again, we have California. California. And we add LA. I see a date. So you guys can be dating each other or about to. You know, the, I'm not sure how you call them. In French, we call them Dalmatian. E, how is it called? You know that Disney movie with little dogs with... Maybe that's the same name. I have no clue. Uh, but the dogs with little dots like ink of black and they're all white. Yes, maybe this is a dog you guys want to be adopting or they can own a dog that's like that. Let's see. So S, kiss, live or live. But you guys will live together, that's for sure. I mean, you could see building a family. So yes. So I'm sure that this future person, oh, it could be a cat person too. Um, I heard dad. But perhaps the date is not about dating only, but you can perhaps see a date with the numbers. So we have 1 or maybe 11, 12, 3 or 31, 21, 23. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, we have eat. So we can go indeed eat. I mean, you could see the piece of cake. The piece of cake right there. So I guess that's a sign. So let's pick the dice. And by the way, if you guys want to get a reading with me, 
everything is linked down below and if you're new here make sure to join the beautiful family and subscribe down below so let's see we have possibly someone who likes to take pictures or make memories i see someone who is a genius always inspired with inspiring ideas i see someone who could have a temper not gonna lie to you i see you guys actually when you guys will just be together you might be surprised about this person you guys can be exchanging online and we saw long distance so if this is like this or maybe you're just talking to somebody and that's your sign on the phone on on the app i was about to say dating app but maybe date app could be um or you can be meeting through a friend or you are meeting someone who is very friendly very fun to be around someone who could have a beautiful voice they might love to sing a lot they might dream to get a car if i can show you to get a car and we have a gift okay we saw birthday gift i don't know but maybe that's a sign so group number two let's see more hints and discover who is the soulmate you'll marry i know you want me so this passion attraction is going to be mutual and right away you're going to feel some deep attraction towards this person when seeing this one you're going to know that's the one i want that's the one i see a future with that's the one i feel a passionate connection with so trust me you're going to feel that right away when you meet your soulmate so let's see some tarot cards and get more hints about maybe this passionate relationship <laughs> anything about your soulmate so we have the knight the knight of wands six of oh not six five of pentacles eight of pentacles and the hanged man you guys cannot live without each other this is what i can see and you could see that type of energy with the first card i was like i cannot live without you i just want you i desire you so much so i'm sure you guys will always talk on the phone uh, always get news from each other and give news to each other because you are so attached in a way that sometimes it can be like i need this person so <laughs> possibly something to work on becoming a bit more independent it's always good but i see the two of you just like fully clingy on each other because you just want this to work you want this person to be the one and you know this is written in the stars so you can see that right away with the hanged man now for the five of pentacles you need to leave behind anything that was a clutter to me this really represents the fact that something better is cooking for you so if you're still mourning over an ex or just not you know appreciating the present moment or the people in your life these days this is asking you to see the value that you possess and that is there today and now no longer look actually in the past to see where the value is and maybe the hanged man is telling you you're too attached to the past now to be welcoming this person here i mean eight of pentacles is about receiving the job part you know just getting everything you wanted because of hard work so anything you invest yourself in you receive the results so maybe that could be a message for some of you if you're still attached to the past to an ex time to say goodbye because that's the only way to welcome this new soulmate and if you're looking at this reading asking is my ex my future soulmate and are we meant to be married that's a big no because there's no return and this person is brand new this person is stepping forward and i'm sure you feel maybe it's time to move on maybe it's time to welcome a new chapter this will not talk to everybody that situation because some of you it's like i'm attached to you like this soulmate coming in and what i want is something valuable something that will not be you know a pure copy of the past i just want to receive something that is exciting that is passionate that is loving and that feels safe because i see that this marriage is the right investment for me now because i see this as the right investment i see the right person for you someone who is passionate creative beautiful attractive someone who's very social too they love to talk they love to express themselves they might even dress in a way 
that is very eye-catching, like their style is very unique and colorful or maybe all black as well, you know, it's just something that's very appealing to the eye and also very avant-garde because nobody is dressing the same way, so expect it because I believe this night that's coming in, aka your soulmate, is going to be quite original. And I'm sure you're going to feel attracted towards this originality. And it could be personality-wise, it could be appearance-wise, soul-wise, or mental-wise, but they have something very unique about them. And with the knight, the knight is a conqueror. I see somebody stepping forward, wanting to build a relationship with you, wanting to connect with you, but they're asking you to move on. They're asking you to no longer look back. Because if you do... They will just, you know, understand you're not ready for love. You're not ready for me. And if you want us to work, I don't want to be in a relationship where I feel my partner is still attached or still mourning because of what happened. I need somebody who is healed and present for me. So it could be their message. Because that's the only way to invest together, to build together and to grow together. They want to build something beautiful with you. Even number eight is about infinity. So they see a future that's infinite with you. I mean, that's a soulmate, so you've met in other lifetimes. So that, of course, connects this way. So the symbol of that relationship is trust. And having foundations where you are building only together and not with a third party situation or just um, an X in your mind. So if there is that, Resolution will be needed before stepping forward. And if this is not coming from you, it could be from them too. So perhaps this is telling you to be patient. Yes, because you're finding someone who is very, very inspiring for you. Inspiring because you might just feel this person is the one I can see, you know, just waking up next to you every single day and if I need to work on something I see this person always cheering me up and always motivating myself and I feel I can do anything when I have this person in my life so this is going to be the feeling but of course if you're an artist you might be inspired by them so if you write music you might just write about the love story between the two of you if you're a painter you might just want to paint them or just get inspired by them or by a topic you guys talk about and we have some sleepless nights i mean you could see the passion here so i guess it's all connected as well i know you want me and i want you back so expect it to be quiet intense and intimate here i also have a reading on this channel if you guys are interested where it's a bit more spicy but if you want to get a personal spicy reading i also do them so yeah check it out down below if you want to but for the spicy reading you might need to search on this on the channel because it's been a while that i posted it but that's timeless so whenever you're watching this it's always valid same for this one but like you can tell this is gonna be quite a passionate relationship um this is gonna be the type of connection that you know just makes you think about the person all the time you kind of obsessed about this person <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you the soulmate feels different and this is possibly why you feel inspired to even draw paint sing whatever that is even dance and get inspired by them so let's see okay i'll take the one at the top which is move maybe that's about moving in together so when you meet the soulmate, if you have met the soulmate actually, and you just want to know, okay, what's next for us? Could be a twin flame as well. We have the twin. I'll pick it. Um, so you can be moving in with a twin flame, if not a soulmate, because that's a soulmate rating. Or you guys will just be similar. It's kind of like looking into a mirror when you meet this person. I'm going to pick the, um, the card because one felt on the floor. Okay, and the one is, I mean the one, the one that felt is the maze. So in order for you to find this person, you might be guided towards different missions, different people. And you'll feel like, I'm just lost. I don't know what to decide, who to be with, who is best for me, like what? And then you're going to be receiving guidance or the universe is going to show you 
your perfect mirror and when you find yourself in this person this is when you want to move in with them so if you've been single for a while and you've been asking yourself okay so what is next for me like when am i going to be dating somebody this is uh, this is all purposed because you need to find yourself first in this maze of life and when you find yourself this is when you find your tween because if you don't know yourself how can you find somebody who is going to reciprocate this energy or reciprocate you and give to you in a way that feels this is what I'm looking for, this is who I am. Because the thing is, we attract, we manifest who we are. So the soulmate is no different. And this is why you can see the twin. But if you feel and you know you have a twin flame which is very different, a twin flame is a split of your soul. So before incarnation, you split your soul and incarnate in two different bodies. And for a soulmate, a soulmate is some other soul you've met in other lifetimes and you created a bond with them because that's your best friend or because that's your ultimate love. So that's why it's very different because it's not another you, it's just somebody that you you just love. <laughs> so that, that's it. So hopefully this is clear because sometimes I, I receive messages or even clients come to me and they're just asking me about their twin flame slash soulmate as if this is just one person but it's not it's actually not the same connection and i'm sure there are a lot more complex connections than these but we don't have a title for them yet but i'm sure in the future we'll talk about these things so for the traits and personality we have somebody generous and somebody loving which is perfect two beautiful traits and qualities so they want to be the provider they want to give their love to you they want to be generous with you and you could see someone who is quite abundant and rich so if they are really successful they might just want to spoil you as well they want to give to you generosity doesn't have to be material of course this could be generosity with um, the way they care about you the way they take care of you um, for example this could be for example if they cook something they think about you and they always keep a part of that food for you when you come back home you know these type of things just somebody who is thoughtful and generous that's what you can tell so let's see messages what they want to say to you yes i'm telling you there is possibly some situation with one of you possibly not for everybody watching um but one of you is still attached to their ex or one of you is still dating so if you have your options open you can be in between two people or you know uh, but this could be the situation so i can't bear to see you in her arms but this can be his arms as well all right so there is some yeah third party i'm really seeing that if not in their arms it's in their head like i cannot compete and if you like if you don't feel ready if you just always think about this ex always compare me to this ex you need to close the chapter first you don't want to bring somebody when your mind is still you know uncertain or just not completely over something because you're still in that maze so for the other ones let's be forever young and we have this peter pen spirit <laughs> flying together and i'll be the knight indeed you'll be the princess so treating you like a like a disney character queen or king or the knight and the princess and i'll be and you can see again peter pan as the reference from disney so i guess it's all connected maybe this is gonna be a fairy tale to be together and this is why it's a calling for you to liberate yourself to fly towards this new relationship with your soulmate because you're stuck on that maze and you might feel actually there's something i'm missing in life because i'm not fully in the experience so for the zodiac signs which i'm going to pick right now with the grid but with the cards we had fire sign and earth sign for the seasons could be spring season for the marriage or the meeting with your soulmate and for pentacles this is autumn season could be the season when they are born as well 
But let's see zodiac signs. Whoa, okay, so Leo is crazy. <laughs> Leo, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra. So these are the signs. Let's continue with letters and words. And pick so we can see perhaps a name, a place appearing, initials, anything we need to know. And again, Libra is showing up. And uh, Virgo. And I was a bit like, should I pick this one? Because it's close to it. So now you get the confirmation. Full, dream, little, special, you, may, ever, him, ing. I see cat. I see date as well. Do it. Perhaps some encouragement to take action. Doing. California, GC, I think of Jesus Christ, so perhaps it's a um, um, religion, or maybe getting a marriage that's religious, could be, if not, I think it's Catholic, but I'm not certain, I'm so sorry, um, could be different, of course, but uh, yeah, possibly some religious marriage, oops, oh, we have to do, That's so far what I can see. You can be meeting somebody you find special. And with ever, I mean, that's a soulmate. So yes, you guys always spin around each other, find each other in different lifetimes. So this is going to be clear when you meet this person. So let's continue with the dice. And by the way, if you guys want to get your reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below. And if you're new, make sure to join the beautiful family and subscribe down below. So here we can see a call. So you guys can be talking to each other on the phone. I see someone who is making you truly happy. Happy and excited. Sometimes you guys can have arguments, but I feel like communication is going to be key to make that turn into something positive because you will learn from each other. I see emotional days and perhaps when you feel gloomy, this is when you guys will talk about these things. Um, with the lightning, I see this as a, as a message because in France, we say um, being hit by the thunder, which symbolizes love at first sight. So maybe that's going to be the feeling when you guys see each other or connect with each other, like love at first sight. You guys can be meeting through friends or just that friendly vibe is what you'll feel from your soulmate. I see somebody magical, perhaps somebody you see as perfection and you perceive and picture a future with them. Of course, they can be very good at taking pictures and videos or work in this type of field as well. So group number three, let's see who is your future soulmate, the one you'll marry. So when I was picking the cards, I thought this one is so fitting because this is indeed a promise to be together, to marry each other. So you guys are promising to find each other back. And I'm sure that's a calling for you to know, please remember me, we made a promise to be together. Please find me or please be available to me because I just want us to fulfill this promise. So let's continue and see with the cards. More hints about this soulmate and you guys' marriage together. And trust me, today I'm going to go in depth, so we're going to see a lot of hints. What is your soulmate? Ooh, ten of cups, seven of pentacles, and we pick one more, two more, I guess, five of cups, and the queen of swords. So, Ten of Cups really presents this happy ending. You know what you see in Disney movies when the prince finally marry the, the princess? It's really that type of storytelling I can get. So this promise of the soul is going to lead towards true happiness, true love, true satisfaction. And you're going to feel so connected as if You've been waiting with this person your entire life. And number 10 talks about completion. So this person will complete you. You're going to feel like 
this empty part of you or this empty life is now filled with love, happiness and the right person for you. Someone who is truly compatible with you that completes you and you feel more like yourself around the person. For the seven of pentacles, this is a card talking about investment, you know, waiting for things to grow, waiting for things to be a good return. So perhaps this is telling you there could be a perfect timing for the two of you to be actually meeting at the right time because that's going to be the best investment or the best timing for this relationship to grow in the future. But they could be interested into investments. For example, they can be investing money in real estate. They could be investing money in any type of thing, really. But they will just be very good at managing and growing money, which could be good because some people, they will you know, look for somebody in a relationship who can be the provider, who can be someone or maybe just somebody equally invested and smart with their money. And that's the way to live in a way that's more secured. So this is what I see you being offered with the person. Now for the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups really represents this idea of focusing on what is not really working, but not really seeing the opportunities. So perhaps this is telling you, if you've been asking yourself, when is my soulmate coming in? When can I find true love? When, 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 when? And playing this type of victim mentality or just having this victim mentality or why not? Like, why am I never experiencing that? I'm sure you guys feel attacked right now. And that's okay, because it's just a reminder to tell you, you create your reality. So if you don't believe in the best being presented to you, or even you don't believe in soulmates, or you don't believe in true love, or you just don't believe in love anymore because you've been broken before, then this is repeating the same cycle. But number five is telling you to change the course of your destiny, the course of your life. And when you can change your mind or change the mindset and see you can be the conqueror, you can be looking for that soulmate, you can be choosing the one for you and you will never stop until you find the one. That's when you show up as her or him that you find the right soulmate. I am not seeing a passive manifestation, to be honest. I see. If you are invested in finding love, in finding the one, this is when you find the person that you made a promise to. And we started with this idea of this person telling you, remember me, we made a promise, please come find me. So perhaps you are the one who is meant to take some according action to then lead towards this person. Places you can be meeting at are events, social events especially. I see work places and it could be, for example, you go to a place because of work and then you meet each other. This could be that way too. Um, and I see when you go to fancy places, fancy restaurant, fancy event, whatever that is, I see you can be meeting out there. And when I look at the scene, for some reason, I think of rather um, school theater. And I don't know why, I think of a bus as well. So some transportation tool could be significant for some of you. But like I said, when you focus on the positive, this is when it comes. But if you focus on what you've lost, what you did not get, past relationship that did not really satisfy you, guess what you're attracting? What you focus on is what you attract. It's like a boomerang. So... Focus on the positive. Focus on the person, the type of person you want to be attracting, the type of soulmate you want to find. And this is when you attract this person. But what I see is a happy marriage. I see somebody invested, wanting to build with you. Someone is not afraid to take decisions. Someone is not afraid to be the leader in this relationship. But I see the two of you being like that. So I'm really sensing power couple vibes, to be honest. And yeah, I see someone who could be needing reassurance sometimes, but I think that could be you too. So we have nurture, union, feel the melody and sharing. So this, these could be traits. You can be attracting someone who is very nurturing. They have this mom or dad, you know, essence. And I talked about, and this is very similar, these two scenes. I talked about some social event, 
finding the person out there. So if you are invited to even maybe um, like a dinner with your neighbors or with friends or whatever that is, but I see that this could be when you guys share a moment together and build a connection right away. So pay attention to that. If you are invited, say yes. You might be surprised. But I see someone who is very giving, generous. They want to share. And I mean, that's sharing life together, getting married to each other. So of course, they want to provide to you. You guys will come and unite together in the near future. And you will feel guided towards this person. Feel the melody. Is this inner knowing, this intuitive feeling you have within you when... Rather, you go somewhere or you meet a certain person. So you feel that melody within you. Or that, you know, when sometimes you go to dates and you have butterflies in your stomach, you feel it deep down, like what's happening? Yes, this could be the feeling as well when you guys are together. But I see unity coming together, sharing times together. Yes, building the connection. You guys can love as well when you get married to invite friends or family over for dinner or brunch or whatever to have a drink because you can see tea parties here so i guess this is something important we have the piano as well so the piano can be significant they can be playing an instrument or good at singing we have the mist the mist is really that sense of something uncatchable. And perhaps you feel like it. Love is something I cannot catch. Love is something that always, you know, disappears. It's so hard to get. But that is just a mindset. So if you feel like it, feel it in your heart. Love is always there. It's never going anywhere. So if you can feel your own love, this is when you can really sense the love all around you. And share this one. In this one, we have the wave. Again, the wave to me represents action or surfing the wave, going with the flow. But you can just follow a certain current to be with somebody you feel a deep connection with or you just feel your heart beating all the time when even just thinking about them, you will just feel there is something going on within me and that shows I really love the person, I really like this person. So yes, go with the flow. This could be a water sign as well. And we have water, water, earth, and air signs. For these, for the seasons, could be summer, autumn, and winter. Just so you know, it could be any time really. Um, but yes, so someone who is emotional, could be a water sign. Someone who is always very intuitive as well. And a person who is quite mysterious. Mist. Areas. <laughs> Anyways, let's see traits now. Traits, personality of you. Playful. Okay. But so far we could see someone nurturing, sharing, gifted, happy, positive, social, um, good at making money, quite blunt and bold, action-oriented, a bit emotional, and committed. Yes. I mean, you guys will get married. So, Promise me, committed, playful. So these are the traits. But of course, that is just confirming what we saw. This soulmate is the perfect match for you. This person is gonna be the one, like, for you. And you can see they're committed. Like, when they meet you, or when they start dating you, they'll just be this nurturing figure. Like the mom or the dad, really. Let's see messages. That's so connected. So anything they want to say to you. So the first one was, only a king can stand next to a queen. So I'm telling you, the queen, which is showing you, the queen of swords is finally finding the right match for her. Or the opposite, take what resonate. But definitely only the two of you could be with each other. And I told you, this could be a power couple here showing up because i see two powerful figures coming together and i have been waiting <laughs> totally i have been waiting for you we could see that one is telling you please come find me please take action show up please release the past i'm waiting for you focus on the positive i'm waiting for you it's really this urge 
So the door is opening, you finally find your person. And this person is waiting for you with a book. So studying, possibly about love, about you, about what you offer. And perhaps you're attracting someone who is very intellectual. And again, the book. <laughs> I can feel you close to my heart. This is what we saw with the gesture of like the, the, the character on this card and those lips are mine indeed i mean you guys will get married so all theirs for sure so again the book i think connects to what we saw uh, the fact that you want to possibly gain more knowledge or just study and become a better person so perhaps reading books that will help you to have a beautiful and harmonious relationship or maybe studying about investment or anything really so I can feel you close to my heart, those lips are mine, and only a king can stand next to a queen. I've been waiting for you. So let's continue with the grid. So we can see more zodiac signs or seasons. Sagittarius is crazy. We have Gemini and Pisces. Let's see now letters and words. So we can see perhaps a name, a place appearing. What is it? What are the signs? At date. <laughs> At father. So it, yeah, if you want to have kids, this is totally what we can see here. I mean, you could see this kid on the um, on the bed and the mother nurturing. So it could be what you guys are looking for. We have will, will, the, she. So they can have a strong, um, not masculine, feminine essence and energy. We have flower help. What I see as well is tied. So you can be tied up to each other. And because we saw the promise, this could be a soul tie. The, the red thread, for example. So you're tied up to each other, or you're still attached to attached to each other. But that is pretty much what I can see for the letters. Let's continue and pick the dice. Okay. This is quite funny because we have the balloons, and I think again of you know these um where are they? The scenes. Yes, the scenes that are very social. I think that's. I mean, that's the one. Yeah, so these social scenes, celebration, coming together. And by the way, if you guys want to get a reading with me, everything is linked down below. And if you're new, join the beautiful family and subscribe. So what I see is someone who is always looking... F wow, the, the house cracked. I'm not sure if you could hear that. It's because it's very, very cold outside. It's actually snowing, so... Yeah, the, the materials are just cracking, like, what's happening? So hot inside and so cold outside. Anyways, um, so yeah, I see that this person will bring you positivity, bring you light. And with the pirate, they can have this type of personality. Like, I want to conquer the world. I want to achieve everything. Um, again, I think of birthday or maybe a wish coming true with the candles, traveling to each other or traveling with each other. Maybe you love or you will like to travel to places where it's warm and sunny. Here we have a happy time with a flower, smiling. I just see this person wanting to live an imprint on earth with what they are doing. And I see the two of you, you know, reaching out for higher levels, together or you guys will do these type of activities i see traveling celebrating life learning more things becoming um in french there is this um you know this current les lumières and that's a current when philosophers came together and they started to really question everything and find clarity on these things so perhaps this is what you guys will do you guys are two philosophers <laughs> and you will love to just question life or just get you know, just all the, um, the meaning out of it. So yes, that's the rating, guys. I hope you liked it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Claim this energy down below in the comments. Check my other readings appearing on the screen or on my channel. I have tons of them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.